Hey, Master Gardeners. I'm out hiking on a pretty sunny April afternoon, and I want to introduce you to a tree that I don't think you know is much about because I didn't even know what it was. It took me a long time before I could identify this, but it's a, one of our native cherries. And this one is called fire cherry is one of the common names or pin cherry. And it's a great pollinator plant. As we've all learned from Dr. Ptolemy, that the cherries are one of the preferred species for our uh, Lepidoptera species and things. And if hopefully we can zoom in on some of this beautiful flowers. They've been in bloom now for two or three days. There's still some buds, so we got a couple more days yet to go. But it's covered with little flies just hovering all over it. Really sweet little flowers on this. Um, I don't know what I can, uh, I don't know what smell I'd say. It's just sweet, a really a high sweet, almost a, almost so strong that it's a little bit nauseating. But a pin cherry, a very short lived little tree, can grow up to 30 feet tall. And the one, there's actually four or five of them in here. There's one that is almost 30 feet tall in the woods here. It looks just like your other prunus species, which are your other cherries. It gets that long tapering leaf with strong teeth on it, on the glands of the petioles. There's little glands on the petioles. So you'll see the typical characteristics. On this older bark, you don't see those horizontal lenticels. It's actually starting to flake in these old age trees. But this is a tree that is also called fire cherry because supposedly whenever there's a forest fire, this is a first pioneer species that'll bring, uh, find its way in. And then as soon as the canopy grows over top of it, they give way. And that's exactly what's happening in this hedgerow. Typically that's where they'd be in a hedgerow. I don't find them too frequently in Harford County, although I have seen them in my community down along the country road, one spot, and then there's one up near the extension office. So not a very common native, and I've never seen it available in a new uh, nursery. The science name is uh, Prunus pensavatica. So pensavatica, of course, obviously native. It likes mountainous regions typically, so obviously prefers the more uh, hillier regions of Pennsylvania. But pretty cool little native that I wanted to show and share this sweet smelling little flower that the bugs and flies are loving today.